There are many creative possibilities of what you can do with Smart Reverb 2 when using it in traditional send and return mode. Let me show you. These drums are being sent to an aux with Smart Reverb on it, and the guitar tracks are sent to a different aux with Smart Reverb on it as well. For the drum verb, I'm going to select Drums, Drum Set, click Analyze, and on the Guitar Verb track, I'll choose Guitar, Electric, Analyze. Hit play. If you're using Smart Reverb as a send and return, you want to make sure you hit this button. This is very important. In wet mode, the plugin outputs only the wet reverb signal, no dry signal. Notice that the distance control is disabled in this mode. Let's hear it back. With both instances selected, I can click and drag and try out different reverb algorithms. I think for this example, I'll assign drum reverb to room and the guitar to spring. Now you'll notice a section to the right called manual overwrite. What is this? Let me show you. On the guitar, I want to apply a little bit more reverb energy to the mids, and I can increase the amount of energy assigned to the mids. I'll also bypass the auto gain output and crank this up. Let's do the same thing with the drums. I'll click the drum, click manual override, and increase the energy to the lows. Notice how the decay time reflects the size control. And from here, if I want to apply some of the other algorithms, I can just simply drag these instances over, or I can select both of them and drag them together to experiment. If you're interested in learning more about Smart Reverb 2, download a trial from sonable.com and be on the lookout for more videos.